Landboards presents Magnetic Switch, eBay and Arduino Sketch. Had a little project in mind that needed a magnetic switch. On eBay, this part comes for about a dollar plus a buck eighty-five for shipping, so less than three bucks for ten parts. Uh, the A3144 part. Here's the data sheet for the A3144 and A3141 apparently a whole series. Note these are all listed as discontinued products no longer in production. Samples are no longer available. I guess unless they come from China then they seem to be pretty available. The part is a Hall effect sensor, a three pin device, takes in power and ground and has an output pin that's open collector. You can see that in the diagram here to the left. There's a pretty wide voltage supply range of four and a half to 24 volts and with the Schmidt trigger circuit inside of it, it allows you to uh, get fa uh, eliminate false triggers. And the open collector output would let you hook up to any sort of circuitry that you want. In our case, we'll pull it up with a resistor. What other features are there here? The part has a pretty good temperature range and, as noted, a pretty good 25 milliamp output drive from that open collector transistor. We designed a little circuit card that we call the GVS Uni that allows ground voltage and signal connections to be made to any part and has a little three pin array on the three by three array on the right hand side as well as a pull up resistor. That works just perfect for this sort of application where you need to pull the output up and you want to adapt it to a standard GVS pinout. They work well with these Arduino shields that are GVS type connectors or uh, pinouts on them and we built this circuit up onto a breadboard as shown here. Uh, here's the Arduino sketch. We called it Mag Switch LED. It's basically the switch or LED blinky sketch with a read of the signal from the sensor. We put the sensor on pin 12 and mapped it to an input and then just sit in a loop down here below reading that sensor value and then writing that out to the LED. Pretty simple loop here. Let's take a look at the sensor in action. We're going to use a little bicycle spoke magnet. Uh, got that off eBay for a dollar and you can see the light light when the uh, magnet gets close enough to the sensor. You can also see the hysteresis that it takes uh, farther going in to make the light go on and uh, farther going out to make the light go off. Also when you move the magnet around the rear it doesn't turn the sensor on at all. It has to be in the front and or and or somewhere to the side there but uh, you can see as you go around it stops turning it on so probably is most effective here straight on as you can see. Uh, it has a pretty good distance looks like it'll work fine for the application we're looking for. For more information check out our wiki page we also have a YouTube channel where you can learn how to use these products and we sell our products on Tindy. Thanks for watching our video.